hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna do a video that was requested i'll be showing you guys how to assemble your rotisserie shaft and skewers rack for the power air fryer oven pro model cm001 here are all of the components you have two skewer racks 10 skewers and one rotisserie shaft take a look at the shaft here as you can see on each end of the shaft there's a screw hole also note how the shaft is made both ends are not identical this is the left end and this is the right each skewer rack is labeled l for left r for right however they are both identical So first you wanna unscrew the screw like you see here. Okay, and we're gonna insert the shaft through both of the skewer racks. Make sure that the screw hole is lined up with the screw and then you're gonna tighten the screw into the shaft. Repeat the same step for the other skewer rack. Since both racks are identical, it does not matter which end of the shaft you place either one on. As you can see, I put, I don't know if you can notice, but I put the left skewer rack on the right end of the shaft. But if it's easier for you and for reference sake, go ahead and put the skewer rack that's labeled R for right onto the right side of the shaft and then you can put the, the, the rack that's labeled L for left onto the left end of the shaft. The final step is now to insert your skewers into the skewer rack. And of course, if you are making kebabs, sausages, hot dogs, or anything like that, you wanna go ahead and put your food onto the skewer before this step. Just do like you see here. You wanna insert the sharp end of the skewer through the hole that's on the skewer rack. Then squeeze the clip end of the skewer into the slot to secure. Then repeat the steps for the remaining nine skewers and that's it. Also, everything that you see here is in your instruction manual. So if you have that, you can also refer to your instruction manual. So once you open the unit, make sure that you are placing the rotisserie shaft into the unit correctly. And to do that, the left side of the shaft should go into the shaft socket on the left inner part of the unit. Make sure that the shaft is in place to engage rotation. And as you can see, I gently push the shaft a little to the left to lock it into place to engage rotation. And the right side of the shaft just simply hangs onto this metal hanger piece that you see here. And that's it. And now you just wanna close the door and go ahead and start up the unit. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if it was. And stay tuned for more cooking videos that I will be uploading soon. I know I've been a little MIA and I do apologize for that. But I do have more videos coming. So be on the lookout and set your notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video.